possibly chase after the person that hurt you in the first place. It means that your family foundation is already strong, but now after today, you'll get to add your own bricks. I'm gonna start crying already. <laughs> We're gathered here today to take part in the most time-honored tradition of the human family, uniting a woman and man in marriage. B and Isaac have come to witness before us, telling, their, telling of their love for each other. We remember that theirs is a love whose source is the there. affection of those who love them into being. We, re excuse me, we remind them that they are performing an act of complete faith. <laughs> we remind them that they are performing an act of complete faith, each in the other, that the heart of their marriage will be the relationship they create. In a world where faith often falls short of expectation, especially nowadays, it is a tribute to these two who now join hands and hearts in perfect faith. Most people get married believing a myth that marriage is a beautiful box full of all the things that they have longed for, companionship, intimacy, friendship, and the like. The truth is that marriage at the start is an empty box. You must put something in before you can take anything out. There is no love in marriage. Love is in people, and people put love into marriage. There is no romance in marriage. You have to infuse it into your marriage. A couple must learn the art and form of have and the form the habit of giving, loving, serving, and praising, keeping the box full. If you take more out than you put in, the box will be empty. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once, if not more, a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is the capacity for, to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. It is standing together and facing the world. Yes. And now not only are you starting your family today in marriage, you're starting your family with a brand new breathing life. <laughs> I can't run it, it still makes me cry. <laughs> in the book in the book of Psalm chapter 139 verses 13 through 18 it says for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Where I count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. In the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verses 16 through 17, Ruth says, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. Where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there too will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death ever parts us. That verse describes a very deep and meaningful undertaking, and today some would say you're making the ultimate commitment, but don't think of it that way. Think of it, or yes, it's a pretty good-sized commitment, as a lot of you do know. Um, think of it as you two have been given an opportunity that few people ever get on this earth. God has blessed you to share time and space with another person that he himself designed just for you. You've not only been blessed, you've been divinely favored. Be an Isaac. May the promises you make this day live always in your hearts and in your home so that what you share deepen and grow through the years, leading you through a lifetime of happiness. <clears throat> a wedding is more than a celebration of love, which lives in our brides and grooms' hearts today. It reaches into the future and proclaims their intentions for which tomorrow shall hold. 
A couple who wed is not only joined by mutual affection and love they share, but also by their hopes, dreams, and promises of what will be. The promises and vows they make shall guide them into their common future. What are they gonna marry? Hold on, just watch. <laughs> As I give you this ring, just know you are stuck with me forever. <laughs> Not me. between the veins in your hands and the heart. These are the hands of your best friend as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will join with yours to raise your daughter and help her grow into the beautiful, strong woman she deserves to be. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will equally help you change dirty diapers and get up for those late night feedings. These are the hands that will change along with yours, never letting go. These are the hands that will grow old with you. The baby's staring at me. So by the power vested in me, given to me by the fine folks on the internet, <laughs> and I pronounce you ceaseless kindred spirits, indestructible soulmates, each other's light in the dark, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Isaac, you may now kiss your bride. Yeah. Did they marry? Yeah. 